Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is going to be part of the Creators Helping Creators series uh, that I'm making. And this one here, I want to point out some really interesting thing that um, I found kind of by accident. And I'm in traffic sources, and somehow I got to average percentage viewed by traffic source. But I clicked on the total thing down here, so it's for the channel as a whole. And back here before 2012, the hashed area here is they were not, uh, I didn't have these statistics available for us. And of course, you know, I didn't have any videos back in the day, so I got zero, right? And then, um, but something crazy I went up here, I got 98.6%, and this is the average percentage of the video view. This means people are watching nearly 100% of my video back in October 2014. So this is pretty radical, and you see things are crazy, and then they kind of smooth out here, right? I want to explain what this is going on here. Remember, back in 2014, I was making no videos for YouTube. I wasn't making any videos specifically for YouTube. All my videos, and this is when I started making them, was in, and October 2014 was an important date. That's the date that I passed a bar exam, not the bar exam, but a bar exam that was required because of the way I studied law. And I had a lot of videos on how, what, what I was doing, how I was doing, and everything else to pass this exam, which was actually given in October 2014. That's the one I passed. And so, of course, a lot of people are very interested in passing this exam. So, and I started uploading those videos in 2014, bam, then you can see like an important date happened right there. People are getting ready to take that exam. They really wanted to see everything they could to help them pass, right? And my information is pretty good. It was good enough for me because I passed that exam, right? So, um, but that was kind of an interesting thing. And then you see this like crazy up and down. It's like really wide variety of stuff. And the interesting thing about that is that's before I started making videos specifically for YouTube. So you get these wild swings, right? I wasn't making any video at all. Then when I started making video, I was making them for an outside website, not YouTube, right? And then um, as I start getting geared up towards probably making videos for a larger audience, um, and in 2016, 2015, I was starting to do that already. As a matter of fact, if I hover over this, let me take it off of the total there. Right. Okay. So over here, you see the multicolored things coming into place. That's when I'm making videos for YouTube. Okay. I'm actually decided at that point over here when the rainbow of color comes in. At this point, I'm going to be making videos specifically for a YouTube audience. Right. So you see now, you really clearly see what happened. Hey, when did Ray decide he wanted to get into YouTube? Well, back right back here in December 2016. Right. So December 16, that's when I had that conversation with my wife, Miss Demeanor, and uh, I said I was going to make a, a, a wider variety of videos for the larger audience of people who are on the YouTube. So there you have it. So there's where it demonstrates that things started happening. So this is kind of an interesting uh, graph for me, and it's like I never saw this one before. I didn't find what I was. <laughs> I didn't find the information I was specifically looking for, but this is kind of a little bonus find for me. And uh, you can, you know, like I say, it's looking back at his historically what happens, when it happens, how it happens, and why all that. Now, these are like going to be my five um, top performing videos in, uh, how, how are they doing that? Let me do it by views here. It's probably going to change the whole thing. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so this is changing by views. So now the colored coded ones, the yellow, pink, green, purple, and blue, they come into place here. Right? That's when I started making these things. This is January 2017, right? So yeah, that would really make sense. I'm starting to make videos specifically for a YouTube audience. And these are mostly about all but one. Okay? All but one of them are on the uh, of these top five are on the front facing camera of a cell phone. So remember you remember many of my videos in the past I was talking about, yeah, those videos just took off. They did, okay? So they've been the, my my best performing videos. Um, except for that removing the uh, melamine, the plastic stuff on kitchen cabinets. That's a very good video for me as well. But this is a very interesting uh, graph that I just kind of found totally by accident. Uh, but this one here demonstrates that once I started making YouTube videos specifically for a YouTube audience in December and uh, 2016 and January 2017, that's when things started taking off from my channel that way. All right. And then, of course, in 2018, and we got a whole new whole new ball game right at that point because then we had to do the hardcore networking but this one here doesn't really show that this doesn't show the hardcore networking this one here shows the average percentage of videos viewed and then we look at it in the totality you see that things are kind of crazy back here and then once i started focusing on making youtube videos for a youtube audience 
things kind of settled into a uh, normal pace, all right? So that's what I want to show you on this one here. It's kind of an interesting fun find for me, and I just wanted to share that with you. And this is a traffic source, and it's the, um, you can look at different things, but it's average percentage viewed, and I sorted it out by monthly, all right? Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Don't forget to, give me a th uh, forget to give me that thumbs up, like this video. Make a comment below. Let me know you came by to say hi. And until, uh, oh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.